Ross Hardy, Inject Carts Technical Support. We're back with the Epson P800. And we have commissioned the printer. We have uh, printed, we, we're, we're printing over the network with this one. Uh, we, of course, did some test pages, uh, you know, during the driver setup. We're printing from our Mac. We, of course, one of the most important things you're ever going to do is make sure your nozzles are good. I think we had to install the driver twice, so we did two of the Epson test prints, and the nozzle checks a couple of times. We've also dumped, this is copy paper. We dumped some known test images. that we have available for free on our website, free to download. And they're very good color checking files, even on plain copy paper. This is not even inkjet paper. Uh, Kodak test file from the early 70s. It's been edited over the years. It's a good color checking file. And I wanna check your reds and your blues and your purples. Uh, the Incredibles logo from Muta. So now, the Epson inks have been installed. Printer's up and running and on our network. Now we can get to work. I like one feature here. You can open the ink cover at any time you want. And it'll unlock it and it even pops up. I guess we missed one piece of plastic during our commissioning. We did follow the uh, start here card during uh, installation, and I recommend you do too. There is gonna be a switch key over here on the left side of the ink bay to install if you go with the longer carts, but obviously if you go with the short carts, the ink bay cover will close with those installed. So that's not gonna be an issue. Uh, in addition to the Chinese refillable carts, we're also going to have our damper cartridges. Hold on one second. Unlike our previous versions of the um, 3880 and uh, 3800 uh, damper cartridges. Uh, these have a chip on every single position. They'll reset when it says it's out of ink. There will be a switch key in this package. The cover will stay open about that far uh, when these are installed because they are 100 milliliter carts, actually 120. I don't like putting 120 in them. I like to put 100, give me good air pressure. And then when you tell the printer that you want to open the cover, you do the thing and pull the door switch. You can even raise this up out of your way completely if you like it that way. And then just remove and replace the cartridge, the single cartridge to reset the ink levels. We'll cover that during our installation. Same thing on these guys. Uh, this happens to be the same size as the um, Epson cartridge, so the door can close. There is one thing I want to cover, and deployment of these cartridges, fill them up, put the plug back in after filling them. Then use a large 60 that we give you in the starter kit. Pull the needle off. And I don't know where my white tip went. Hold on one second. I do have it. It's here. After filling the cartridge up, I want you to with an empty syringe and the plunger all the way home, 
I want you to twist on these special priming adapters. And I do want you to stick it through the cartridge at the exit valve and pull a vacuum. You are going to need to be off center a little bit. Don't go straight in because you'll be sucking right on the output closure valve. Instead, give it about a 5 to 10 degree angle. Pull all the air from the cartridge that you can. When you have solid ink coming, you're done. Stand it back up. Put the cartridge in. Put it back in. The cartridge. Put the plug back in when you're done. Very important. It's not so much that you want the air out of the cartridge because this is a pressurized cartridge. In fact, you'll be removing this orange uh, plug over the nipple of the cartridge for the airport. What's more important is to get all of the air out of the pipeline that leads to the valve. I don't like to send any air downstream to my printer at all. Instead, I want nothing but ink coming out of here even the very first time you fill it. So, words to the wise, and I like to do that. I don't, I don't like any air in my printing system. The air that's pumped into the cartridge is going to force more ink out. But there is a pipeline inside this cartridge, and without pulling this label off and showing you that pipeline, it's more complicated than you think. It doesn't just dump ink out the exit valve. That being said, we'll be back. We're not going to actually uh, deploy this today. We are going to deploy it soon. And as soon as we do, the very last cartridge that we install, we will show you a complete start to finish tutorial of that uh, video. It'll be part two, part three, and so on. And then we'll start printing, and as soon as we're sure that we've got all the inks out of the pipeline and our inks are coming out, we will go ahead and profile them on a few different medias. Uh, if you have some special media that you need profiled, canvas or something like that, we're more than happy to do that for you at no cost. But uh, you will need to mail them to us. You will need to print the right charts. Um, it's best to contact us through email for that service. And there is no charge, but you will need to get them to us properly printed so we can profile them for you. Ross Hardy, Inkjet Cards Technical Support. Thank you very much.